Welcome to Something to Talk About from the Bainbridge Island Senior Community Center. We're going to be talking with Cressa Johnson from the Kitsap Regional Library Bainbridge Branch. Momentarily, we're going to talk about a pretty cool thing, a new thing you might not know about, a creative outlet from the library or through the library. But I want to thank uh, Fieldstone Communities of Bainbridge Island for sponsoring something to talk about several times a week. You can find the schedule on our website at biseniorcenter.org slash calendar. And that will tell you about upcoming events. And if you have suggestions, you can always send them to info at biseniorcenter.org and I'll get them that way. Fieldstone Communities offers assisted and independent living as well as memory care up on Rolling Bay. Uh, they're right around the corner from Bay Hay and Feed. They have a lovely campus and you can tour it. You can also have lunch on them if you call in advance. Ask for Celia or Jamie. The phone number is 206-594-1010. And check out their website, fieldstonecommunities.com. We also uh, are grateful for the Suquamish people, the first folks in these territories, these areas. And uh, we are uh, continuing to learn about their stewardship of these lands and waters, which are their ancestral homeland since time immemorial. So we honor and uh, respect the Suquamish people, the people of the clear salt water. Tressa, what's this creative thing you've got uh, that's not bugging you, but it kind of is a bug? <laughs> yep, it's a new service. It's called Creative Bug. I'm really excited about it. I've been using this service through um, another library system for probably two years, and I'm I'm enjoy it, so I'm excited to share it. Uh, Creative Bug is a company, we we pay them so that you can access them for free. You can create an account for free. They provide arts and crafts video lessons um, in so many different subjects, painting, drawing, quilting, sewing clothes, knitting, crochet, baking, jewelry. Uh, there's a just an incredible array. In my experience, the Instructors are very skilled. The production is high. Uh, classes can run anywhere from uh, you know 30 minutes to a couple of hours, but they're all broken up into little pieces so that you like chapters, so you can go back and look at them or kind of control what you need to look at again. Um, they, it's just a perfect opportunity for folks. Sometimes I like us having it play in the background when I'm cleaning the house or, <laughs> or cooking or something, because I can, you know, just to try to learn a new skill, sometimes it, it takes, uh, takes listening to it a few times. Uh, Creative Bug provides, you provide the materials and Creative Bug provides everything else. Patterns, templates, recipes, um, uh, materials lists, instructions, you can download and print them and then you have it on paper as well as video. It's a, it's a really great service. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is create an account. And to do that, you'll want to go through the library portal and I'll show you how we do that in just a moment. Once you go through that library portal, you can access Creative Bug in a number of ways. You can install an app in your phone or tablet, which is what I've done. It's it's really nice because you only have to sign in once and, um, and then you're ready to go every time you turn it on, open the app. You can also go to Google and just type in Creative Bug and access it that way. But you'll need to sign in with your uh, the free account that we're going to create. I'll show you how to create today. Um, so to create an account, you need to, you want to make sure you have two things on hand. One is your library card number, the 14 digit library card number. You won't need your password or PIN, just that number. Um, if you can't find it or don't remember it, just give us a call at the library, 206-451-5050. Um, so 451 50, 50 and we can help you with that, not a problem. The second thing that you'll want is to have your, your, um, your password notebook nearby or wherever you write down your passwords. 
uh, because you will be creating a new password for creative bug. Um, let's see. So how do you, once you get started, well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen. We are going to create a new account for my library, my library friend Fiverr, Fiverr Rabbit. Um, and then Fiverr. Take, yeah. Uh, and we'll explore the website a little bit. So let me go ahead and share. Here we are. Okay. Okay. So you can see I'm at krl.org. So if, if we look on the left-hand side, there is a direct link to Creative Bug right um, here in the lower left-hand corner of my screen, Get Making with Creative Bug. So if it's still there, great. It's very easy. You'll click there. And when you click that button, you'll have a pop-up screen that will prompt you to enter your 14-digit library card number. Um, I'm calling in from the library, so it won't prompt me for that number. Um, but I want to show you another way to get there because that is not going to be a permanent link on our homepage. So what you want to do right under our, um, our logo, you'll see browse. And if you click on browse, and I'm going to go over to the middle column, research and learn and click arts and entertainment. So there we go. I'm gonna click there. And I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and there's creative bug. So again, when you click here at home, you'll be prompted for your library card number. I'm in the library. So, and if you, if you bring your, your computer here and sign up for the service here, you won't need your library card number, but um, I'm gonna click there. And here we are at Creative Bugs. So let's see, whoop, Fiverr. There's Fiverr Rabbit. And let's see, I have my password notebook right over here for Fiverr. Um, let's see. Special Fiverr password. Password notebook. That's right. <laughs> okay, so you've written down your new password. Mm -hmm. I've written it down and clicking submit. Oh, oh it's not long you. enough. It's not long enough. Okay, I'll have so your password needs to be eight characters long with letters and numbers or symbols. Okay, so let me try it again. There's Fiverr. Have it. It and let's see. Um, okay, let me just jot this down. Best practice, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Good to model. <laughs> um, so now I've got a password that is um, eight characters long with a number in it, actually. And so I'm going to click submit. And here we are. Welcome back, Fiverr. So um, to explore the website, and you can see multiple five ways to paint a house plant. I just really, really enjoy the, looking at this website. There are a number of different ways that you can explore the site uh, depending on what you're interested in. They have, if you look at the top, there is this horizontal menu, um, starting with creative bug on the left, classes. And I'm, so you can see there is a selection of uh, different classes that you or I guess, like class nouns, right, topics that you can choose from. Um, daily practice. So there are a number of um, classes, and I say that in quotes, they have, um, I took a daily practice class where every day I watched a video for about four minutes that would show me how to draw plants or um, brooms or mushrooms, just one item per day. And it was it was really nice to have, it was just a few minutes, didn't take much time, but, um, but it had me doing something um, creative. 
learning journeys, there are um, topics around which they've collected a number of classes of different, uh, for, um, not formats, but different types of crafts. And then resources, as you can see, when I run, ran my mouse over that item in the menu, we have um, a few items here. Now, when I went to instructors, I've when I've chosen that instructors, and I'll do that now, so I'm just going to move to the left. I'm... Um, some of the instructors, I, I actually recognize their names, their authors um, or pattern makers. I'm going to click here. And so this is this is just a long list of um, of instructors and instructors name. You can over here on the right, and see I've got this blue letter F for fiber. And below that, you can um, filter to kind of narrow down your choices a little bit. If you're a beginner, you can just click there and now we'll have, and you can see here's the item that we've, that we're filtering for beginners. So these are instructors that have taught some beginning classes. Um, I like that it is sorted by release date, newest to oldest. So the newest, most recently filmed um, uh, recently available classes will be at the top of the list, which is great. And I want to see what other filters are available. We've chosen for beginners. And then look at all of these categories. So, it, I mean, it's just so parties, like how to, um, actually, let's see what that is. Um, I'm going to click on party. Although we may not have beginning parties, but okay, here we go. Well, we have some beginning parties. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you've got to start somewhere with a party. Let's start at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, it's a good idea. Maybe maybe that's why my parties haven't been so rocking and rolling. <laughs> I just jump in the middle. <laughs> um, so, so these instructors probably have a class, an easy class about a party. Yeah. Yeah, something that you can. This um, over here on the on the upper right of the teachers, Rebecca Ringquist. She lives in Portland. She's a well known um, uh, crafts person, and I'm trying to remember the name of the craft that she does. I have tried it. I'm going to go ahead and click on her name actually. Um, so, oh, that's right, embroidery. So you can watch a little film about Rebecca uh, that she has put together. You get a little background information about who she is, where she's studied, and then you can look at all of the classes that she teaches. And you'll see in each square in the upper left, it you have gives you an idea of how long each class is. Um, let's keep going down. So ornaments, pattern weights. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, sketchbooks, and then of course, lots of embroidery. Um, and load more. Are there, does she have more classes? Yeah, look at this. So there's quite a bit you can do. Um, one of the tricks I wanted to tell you, I have done this. So you can create a wish list of classes that you're interested in. So let's say, um, I'm looking at this embroidered pencil case on the right-hand side, and I'm interested in taking a look at that one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Embroidered pencil case. So it's 45 minutes. Here are the four different uh, chapters, if you would, of, of the class. It tells you how long each one is. Um, uh, you can get started. The gallery will show you some photos. I'll click on it so you can see photos that were taken from the video and resources. So you can download the materials list. Um, and look at this on the left hand side, it says tra transcript. So I guess you can, maybe there's a transcript for different parts of the video. Over here on the right, it's not very visible, but over here on the right, there's a blue uh, rectangle. It says add to watch list. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add to watch list. So it's added. And then I'll show you up here in the right corner, um, 
this is my account information. I'm going to click on this carrot, that downward arrow, and take a look at my watch list. So here it is. What, what's nice about this is I have gone through in my own account and just gone crazy with the wish list. This looks fun. This looks fun. Um, and then it, when it's early in the morning and I have my first cup of coffee, I can just have a quick look at it and turn one of them on. Um, so I don't have to think about what do I want to look for? What instructor do I want to listen to? It's just all right there, which is very nice. Let's go back to the account information and see if there's anything else. So recently watched, that is helpful to know. So if you were watching a class um, or you have watched a class in the past and you're interested, you can go there. Um, my watch list, we just talked about that. My gallery, so you can take pictures and upload them. Um, and honestly, I haven't taken advantage of the community option, so I can't speak to him to speak to that, pardon me, um, access my account. Let's see, I'm going to click on that. And so if I wanted to, I can add more information, which, which I'm not going to do. Um, but you can edit. Now, you'll notice down here, it says billing and subscription information. So Again, because you the library is paying, they have a contract with Creative Bug and they've paid for access. So if you create your account from the library website, you'll have free access. There's no um, you won't need to you won't be billed or won't be any money changing hands. Now, if someone uh, didn't have a library card or um, their local library did not contract with Creative Bug, they could sign up for this service for a fee. I don't know what that fee is, um, but it is a service that is available to everybody. Um, it's just for a fee unless you have library access. And I see at the top that banner is suggesting they also have live events. And they have live events. Yes. Um, I've gone to a few of those too. They're, they're surprisingly um well produced surprisingly i don't know why i say that but um yeah you not like but, something to talk about is that what you're trying to say <laughs> <laughs> um so i'm going to go back to the main page by clicking on uh creative bug here in the upper left and and here we go so i um so there's just there's just so much here. I encourage folks to jump in, um, explore the website. Once you make your account, again, you go through krl.org, you create your free account, then you can download and install the Creative Bug app to your phone or tablet. Use the email and password that you just created for the account, for the Creative Bug account, and that's it. You're well on your way. Um, it's really fun. So in your in your experience, has it proven to be useful to, I mean, you do you like sample it and say, oh, this is something I probably want to do, and then you'll stop and download the resources? Is that... So what I will do is uh, personally, so for example, um, I'm going to go over to classes and quilting and modern quilts, because this is a lot of, or this is, this is a lot of what I have done. So Sarah Bond, I really like her as an instructor. Um, Heidi Parks, I like her as an instructor. So basically I start watching. So if we see, I'm going to click on this class. Um, you can watch a 30 second video if it looks interesting. Um, what I download is the materials list, um, which I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. Uh, let's see, resources. Here we go. This is kind of in the middle of the screen here. I'll click there. And there's the materials list. And some other information, it might be a pattern um, or a template to make this quilt. But otherwise, that's it. Um, right. But obviously, if you are, if you sample something, you say, oh, 
I need to go get my ribbons. Yes. And so, and so then you put it in your watch list maybe and get the stuff that you printed and then you're ready to prop your phone up on the table and try to follow along. Is that? That's exactly right. Exactly right. Um, I Myself, I've, I watch the video once through and then I get my things together and then I watch the parts again to make sure that I have what, you know, kind of as I go along. Um, one of the things that I really appreciate about the classes that I have um, viewed through Creative Bug is that the teaching is very, uh, I mean, it's clearly scripted, but it's not, they're not strictly keeping to the script. So there is a, a little bit of, um, it's just a, a relaxed, you know, you want to choose these colors and let's take a look at, oh, I don't really like that. I'm going to put that to the side. And um, it's a little bit uh, slow paced. So I feel like I am keeping up with everything that they're saying um, and the ideas that they're sharing with people. Um, it's, it's really nice. Nice. Well, thank you for letting us know about it. What a great, uh, another one of those great resources that you might not know your local library is helping you enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy, everybody. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I will do my best. I'm going to check it out uh, maybe this weekend. Yeah, it's really, um, I'm so excited that KRL is offering it. I really am. And sure. some of the teachers are I mean, Sarah Bond, this teacher here, she's very well known and uh, an expensive workshop leader. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thanks anyway. again. No, oh, I'm happy to share. Bye.